Hello, I am Chris Menard. A question I get asked frequently is what is the difference between a team's call versus a team's meeting? Let's dive into this right now. So in teams, we have calls and we have meetings. And what I find interesting, and I have noticed this in new teams, when I see a colleague and I mouse over their status, if they are in a meeting, or a call, it now just says in a call for me right here where it says available. So what is the difference between a call and a meeting? Here you go. If I select Carol Wilson and we're doing a one-on-one chat and I come up here to the top right, whether I do a video call or an audio call, it doesn't matter. The camera's on, the camera's off, but this is a call. And this call will actually show up in my calls history. So let me just do a call with Carol real quick. I'm going to select audio. I'm Carol, by the way. Carol answers. Carol answered with her camera turned on. Just turn the camera off. So any chats that we do here, these chats are the same as our one-on-one chat. Just to prove it, if I come up to chat and type, that is our one-on-one chat. I'm going to type in test. It is currently 944 Eastern time. There you go. That's going to show up in our one-on-one chat. Another huge difference between a call versus a meeting, and this is a call. If I select more and I go to record and transcribe, it is unavailable to me for a call. Also unavailable, and you don't see it here, when you click more, If I was in a meeting, it would read meeting info. I do not see meeting info here, so this is, again, a call. Also, I've noticed that the word help usually shows up in a meeting down here below settings. I don't see help either. One more difference. Over to the far right, in a meeting, if I'm the meeting organizer, I I not only have leave, but I have a drop-down arrow next to the word leave over here to the far right. When I click it, I can end the meeting. That is not available. So this is clearly a call, no meeting info, no drop-down, and our chats stay in our chat history log. And also, this will get recorded as a call in our calls history. Let's go look at that right now. So I'm going to get out of this. I'm going to go to calls over here on the left. If you have, well, first of all, let me just cover this. Here's that call with Carol Wilson. If I click on it, look, 944 to 945. It is currently 946. So this was it. One minute and 42 seconds. Also, if I go to chat, click on Carol. If you recall, I typed in test 0944. There it is in our chat. Again, this was a call and we're chatting in a call. Now, For a meeting, if you select calendar, Outlook or Teams, I don't care, and you see a scheduled meeting in here, a Teams meeting, that's clearly a meeting. If you want to schedule the meeting, that's schedule meeting. But you could also do a meet now meeting. So let's go and look at this. Meet now. Always, always change this name. That is a horrible name because you can search these names. Carol, Chris, discuss travel, then added the word test, start the meeting, join, add Carol. Okay, we got a meeting. I called Carol. Here we go again. More. Recording transcribe is now available. Also, any chats that we do, these are going to be meeting chats. These will not show up in my one-on-one chat with Carol. I started this meeting up here in the top right next to leave is a drop down. I can end the meeting. There's that feature right there. Also, did I say this already? (laughs) When I click more meeting info and there is help also. So I'm going to go ahead and end this meeting. So because this was a meeting, when I go back to chat, whatever I said to Carol is not in here, even though it was still a one-on-one with Carol, because it was a meeting chat. That will show up in your recent Carol Chris Discuss Travel Test. Click it here. There is that chat that I put in there with Carol right there. Also at the meeting, you get attendance reports. You can do breakout rooms in a meeting. You don't do breakout rooms in a call. You can do polling in a meeting. You don't do polling in a call. 
So those are some of the differences between a call versus a Teams meeting. Hope you enjoyed this video. My Teams online training class is available online. Over three hours of material, along with my Excel, four different classes, Copilot, I have a class, and OneNote, I have a class. Have a good day. Thank you.